Everything is running. Just a second. Okay. And okay. All right. Okay. I'm super excited. I finally got this game, Planet Zoo. And I grew up playing Zoo Tycoon 2, so I'm super excited to get to play this finally. Yay! That is my phone going up. Okay. <laughs> okay. I do not want a dude, I want a female. And we're gonna do that. <laughs> Let's see what the difference of this stuff is. I, I'm gonna go with that one because it looks better. <laughs> Oh, it is the face. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I can zoom in. Cool. Do I drag it? Okay, I drag it. So I'm just gonna be like figuring out at the same time too. <laughs> um, I don't like that. Your mouth is too big. <laughs> it scares me. I kind of like that one. It's kind of simple. Yeah, I'll go with that one, I think. Skin tone is fine. Um, okay. The hair. Ooh, cool. Don't like it. I'm wondering if they'll add more hair later. That would be cool. That'd be really cool. Um, I don't like pigtails. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with that because it looks best. Alrighty, so that's the multicolored. Can I pick the colors? Aw. Why can't I pick the colors? That one's pink. Dang it. I want pink hair. I don't want the other hairstyle. <laughs> I want the other style. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go with the pink one just because I want pink. Okay, we're doing that. Um, I don't like those. <laughs> I wear glasses, but I don't like those glasses. <laughs> Let's not do that. <laughs> oh. That's kind of cute. Ooh, colors. Yes. Mm, I don't know if I like this. Hold on. Make it back. <laughs> Uh, that's interesting. It's accurate. It's kind of cool. Oh. Nice. Kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's gonna take me a minute to make my character. I'm very picky. <laughs> you should see me making The Sims. <laughs> it's been so long just making my characters in like every game that I pick. In every game I play. <laughs> um, we're gonna go with... Um, do I want like a purple or do I want like... Eh, I don't really like the blue. Why do I do that or purple? Or like a real lavender purple. Uh, I like the darker red, I think. That one. I like that. Actually, we'll see what pants I have. I might change it. <gasps> nice. That one, I don't really like that. Mm -hmm. Just the pants. I kind of like just the pants. Try this. I don't like those shorts at all. <laughs> Kind of cool, but no. <laughs> Gonna go with gray pants. Yeah, I like gray pants a lot. I'm gonna do that and back to the shirt. Let's see. Um. Oh, 
<gasps> I can make a custom color. I'm so excited. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just freaking out a little bit. Yay, I can make like a mint cyan like aqua color. I like it. Yay! That makes me happy. I'm going a little bit darker. No, I actually like it bright. Hold on. Okay, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yay! That makes me happy. Can I have hats? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Why do I love this? Why do I love this? <laughs> okay, hold on. I have to post this to my Discord. I have to uh, post that I'm streaming <laughs> to my friends in Discord. If I can find it. <laughs> Where is the channel? Live stream? Is this the streaming one? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. No! Don't add that. Plan A zoo. I can't type. <laughs> I typed a Y instead of a T. And I did it again, like, on purpose. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh my gosh. Um, oh, I have to get the link. B and paste. It's the easiest way to do it. Yay, there we go. These hats, though. Back to these amazing hats. <laughs> oh my god, these are great. Why do I love these so much? <laughs> I really hope I can change this later because I want to add these like back and forth and like wear them around sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to put it on now because I don't want to be stuck with it just in case. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this. I like it. Okay, I'm cool. I, I like it. Oops, settings, go ahead. Probably just general stuff. Graphics, okay. Um, effect settings, do I have a super high? Okay, no, just high. Water reflections, let's do high because I want everything on high. Ambient. I'm gonna leave that, not 100% what that is. <laughs> I probably should learn these things, apply. Interface. I'm not gonna mess with any of this, I don't think, because I can probably do that later. Audio. Okay, I can mute the music, so that's good to know in case it starts to get annoying. Okay, I'm gonna leave everything else like it is, because I don't want to mess anything up before I've even started. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Yay! So excited! <laughs> this is like my childhood. Oh! You will see your avatar. Oh, okay. So I pick, what if I want to live like somewhere crazy? Like, I don't know, say Japan or something. <laughs> Japan over here, that would be amazing. But you know, I'll do where I'm supposed to be over here. Um. Please just seek some zoom in. Okay, no. Um, can edit your avatar. Oh, I can edit it. Okay. So I can just randomly put it somewhere. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just stick it here because that's where I'm at. The general area. Yes, I can edit it later. Nice. Welcome to Planet Zoo Achievement. Nice. Okay, cool. Who is this? Someone else on here. Oh, hello. Okay, no active community challenges. Okay, so a career in zoo management. Franchise. Well, that's cool. So you can make a zoo and trade your animals. That's awesome. So I guess it has a multiplayer aspect. That's super cool. That makes me really happy. Huh. Okay, let's just do this, the first steps. So, because I'm pretty sure it'll give me a tutorial. Yeah, okay. 
um, timed scenarios. Let's not do timed. I don't want to do the timed one right now. Okay, let's do this. Stately homeschooling. <laughs> Renovated and renamed after its purchase by Bernard Goodwin in the 1980s. Goodwin House has since become one of the most respected zoos in the country. More recently, it has undergone a further renovation to update many of the habitats and facilities, but due to various issues, the work hasn't quite been completed, which is where you come in. Medium difficulty. Oh, okay. I was about to say, you're starting me out. I'm going to go with medium, though, because... Let's see what this is. Animals never get bored of enrichment items. Guess what? Request refunds. Five star. They can request refunds? That's new. <laughs> Five star guest happiness ratings requires an average happiness of 85%. Okay. We'll go with that. I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't want to go easy because what is this? What does easy have? Oh, geez. Take longer to die. Never get bored. Yeah, this is a lot. The staff get tired. Okay, yeah, we'll do medium. That's a lot, it adds. I don't want to go too easy. Okay. Let's go. I'm so excited. Start new. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just gonna freak out a little bit because this is like nostalgic all over the place. <laughs> I literally spent like hours of my life growing up playing these games and when I found out this one was coming out I like lost my mind I was like oh my god it's amazing so don't mind me I'm just gonna freak out a little bit <laughs> just a smidge uh, I don't even want to wait for the load I want it to go <laughs> just want to play it yay it's so beautiful Okay, I'll stop saying yay. Ah, hey yo, at Hema too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 sorry about that. I, <laughs> I have a habit of slipping back into the Franco language. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard, although I insist you call me Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpet. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. You know you're in trouble. As you know, I own several <laughs> Should zoos, be. But I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo That's I ever so opened. Cool. And a source of great pride for me. And pride. Thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> but we're in the middle of a big renovation. And that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. <laughs> for allergies. Sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. <laughs> so, it's up to you to finish everything off. Don't worry though, I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy oh, so Jones, good. will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker, and she'll expect you to be too. I love that but cave. I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire. Way better than even the other better. Ones. One that isn't on fire. Less shouting that way. <laughs> Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing Aww. you're Bernie's new hire. Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get <laughs> really hands-on. Did you diploma? But before we begin okay. the real work, how about we okay. familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful Ooh, animals? That went away. We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Okay. Um, oh, okay, that works. Can I angle? No. Oh, okay, that drags. How do I dip? Can I dip in? Locate the grizzly bear. Enter. Grizzly bear animal camera. Okay, so it doesn't really tell me how... Did you know that grizzly bears, also known as Ursus arctos horribilis, can hibernate for up to seven months a year? <laughs> no, but then again, given the chance, I think a lot of people would do that too. <laughs> <laughs> 
Select one of the bears and you'll bring up its information panel. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. This is where you can find out all kinds of information about your animal. Mm -hmm. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? <laughs> See now, this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. Can you can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. Ah, okay. That's okay. When you're ready, let's hop over to the, the other, other side of the too. zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you mm -hmm. to find. Oh, cool. I can get like a cinematic. That's cool. <laughs> can I? I'm pretty sure I can rotate it and stuff. Okay. Um, oh. No. Oh. How do I go? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, you... Oh, your name is Mika! I love it! Already, like, oh, how do I turn? Okay, I'll have to figure this out. Okay, the grizzly bear... Oh, jeez. Oh. Um, okay, I need... Oh! Okay, got it. <gasps> got it! Okay, you hold both um, mouse buttons. Got it. Okay, now we're cooking. Yay! Oh, that's a long ways back. Okay, um, let's do... Oh, there's a balloon! Oh no, someone lost their balloon! Oh! <gasps> I got an achievement for clicking it! <laughs> that's cool! Okay, cool. Okay, so... <laughs> across... Ah! There we go. I was like, which way is it? Here we go. Cool, so now I know I can rotate. Yeah, cool. That's a cool cave. Leo Leo. All the West African lion to you and me. <laughs> lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although prides <clears> of that <throat> size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are raw. <gasps> which baby. is precisely why I handle the training it's instead baby. these days. <laughs> anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. Nice. It's a baby! He's so cute! Sorry, I have to appreciate the baby first for a minute because that's so good! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my god, okay. Let's go to the empty habitat. Where is this empty one? Ah, oh, he's tiny. Okay. Gonna be a smaller animal. That's fine. What do we got? Okay. As you can see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain <clears throat> something. Well, <clears throat> two somethings. Dogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. Okay. Animal trading. There we are, a pair of perfectly splendid warthogs <clears throat> for our zoo. Just click on them and select Adopt from the side menu. Normally the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. <laughs> oh, but I want a dozen elephants. <laughs> okay, let's adopt it. So that's the male. Send to zoo. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in a trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which, as it happens, you are. So how about you move them into their new home? Do I... Oh, yeah. I'm assuming I just click send to zoo. When you ask for an animal to be moved into a yes. habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action.
<clears throat> Trade Center. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move mm. those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that oh, these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Rudest. <laughs> right, let's get the warthogs' habitat Accurate. finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. Accurate. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic. <gasps> Sorry, dear. Basically, how happy Hi. they are. And that overall welfare Yay. statistic is itself Hello. comprised of four different areas. Oh. Nutrition, social health, habitat, and enrichment. Oh, why would you throw it like that? If you select an it's animal, an animal. Bring up their animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, <laughs> where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Okay. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a <coughs> small feeding trough. So let's add one of those and a water bowl. Tet. Mm, food and water. Normally, okay, that doesn't do it. Normally. I'm used to be able to click it, and it'll give you like the items specifically for that animal eating stations, small food trough. Common warthog, got it. Um, where do I want to put it? I'm gonna put it like over here. require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the lovely warthogs mud. to roll around in. <laughs> that bath will count towards their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Put over here, over here. Oh no, no, that's not, let's put it here. Like this. A rock. No, it's just ground. Got it. Nice work. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, Thank you. I've been, our contractor had to be playing for a little while. Is in a feral state. <laughs> and That's an experience. And what's it's all over the shop. But the what's first thing we yes. need to finish is the ostrich habitat. Oh. It's over near the hippos. He like ran up to say hello. Oh, okay. Over near the hippos. Let's see where are the hippos. Where you be? Where you be? There you be. Hello. No, no, wrong thing. The hippos. They're the hippos. Hello, little hippos. Well, not little. They're not little at all. They're they're pretty big. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's go to where we're supposed to be. Oh, oh before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, let's pause the game. Just click the pause button in the bottom okay. right corner. Boop. Ah. That's more like it. A quick break. quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration, because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control <laughs> while you're looking the other yes. way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich habitat built. Okay. Okay. Job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so they can reach it. Gates. The only gate I have. Okay, that's fine. 
Let's do, I'm going to put it near the little, the thing. Hmm. Obstructed. What? How is it obstructed? What is it obstructed with? Fine, I'll put it. Oh, what is happening? What? And I have to put. How do I put it there? Oh no, what is that? What what is happening? Oh no. No. Barriers. Gate. Um maybe Got it. Um, I want it closer to the corner. So like this one. Yeah, that one. Ah. Why? Edit. Um, okay. Okay, to replace section. This, two. What? Can I put it? Okay, it says it's obstructed. But why? I'm confused. Maybe if I just delete it. There. Now, put a gate in. Neat. Okay. Let's try this now. Ah. Okay, one more. Neat. There we go. No, I want I want, I want it over there. There, that's yes. what I want. Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Why? What is happening? Okay, let's just do this. I'm gonna do that. Okay, break barrier. Okay. Oh, so you just kind of take it. Got it. Ah, okay. Cool. That did. Oh no. Oh, that's cool. Um no. No. Oh god. Why is it so long? Oh Link, there we go. Uh-huh. There. I figured it out. You need to be shorter. There we go. That's good. Wait, how? That's fine. Good work. Huh. Remember, before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. 
Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. At least not without a stepladder. Mm. But seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Um... Those Do one at a time. Even more opportunities okay. to see the animals in a habitat. It's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on, because it makes them happy, and because this would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. <laughs> the last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when you guests class. enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy-to-reach places, like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Now, before we adopt our ostriches, you should click the play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the ostriches, eh? <laughs> Just a bit. Can I fix this now? Oh, I want to fix it. Let me fix it. Okay, fine. By the way, as well as pausing the game, you can speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It'll run everything at two times and five times faster. Mm -hmm. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Personally, I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. All right, you've finished <laughs> the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get four of them in here. <clears throat> Animal trading. Uh -huh. Ooh. Is this one gold? I like it. Here, yeah, cool. Let's get that one. While we wait yeah. for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Um, 
Oops. I didn't need that. to change the, the, the thing. Well, I'll change it in a minute. It's fine. Oh, good Yay. to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, oh <laughs> heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the so speed fast. camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Well, <clears throat> Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? Every time we get an ostrich. Mm -hmm. So, now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better, let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. <laughs> so that is keeper. Oh, you two different ones. Like You'll need one. to rotate the keeper hut to get <laughs> it to connect up to the path. Um, okay. Okay, Z. Oh, okay. Got it. Aha, uh -huh. now I know how to rotate things. Rotate 90. Oh, cool. Toggle advanced move. Oh. Yeah, let's not do that. Oh, no. <laughs> I need to keep it. Okay, so Z. Okay, that's cool. I like that. <clears throat> Raise and lower. I don't want to mess with that. Let's just do that. Mm -hmm. This keeper hut only has space for one <coughs> keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, but bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. Negatively. <laughs> <laughs> In case that They're wasn't so picky. clear. Picky, Something picky. that all facilities, shops, and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. <laughs> so let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Okay. Do we have to power it? Now, cool. the reason everything has gone Ooh. blue is because you're using the power heat map. This map allows you to see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So, once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Okay. Lovely work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food, and thanks to where you put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal Tigers. We Yay. want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Haha. Hmm. Very trick. Righty, your next job is to build a habitat from scratch. <laughs> 
and concrete and glass, I expect. So go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh, and don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Oh, okay. and make sure the guests <clears throat> will be able to see the tigers. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's supposed to be glass. I clicked glass. Oh my gosh. What is happening? Do that. Okay, barriers. This here. Oh my goodness. Really? Why? Why? Figuring it out now. Cool. This takes a little bit of playing with it. Great. Mm -hmm. 
to be back to seven. Um, let's do a little viewing thing here too. single panel there and then oh well I keep forgetting <laughs> here and back to five oh Change it back. No, damn it. I forgot. Dang it. I forgot. Back to seven. I want tiny little walls. There we go. There we go. I should make this whole side. Probably. I think I'm gonna make this whole side glass. Ah, no. Ah, no. No! Keeper station nearby. Mm. I don't know. I'll have to find it later. Maybe that's. No, that's the transport thing. No. Let's put one like over here. Yeah, one back there. Okay, so habitat. Myself, apparently. Now, Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we should probably make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? <laughs> the way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. 
Okay then, you should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Great. Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. No. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 meters. Hmm. Where's the thing? Exactly 3.7. 3.70. Now that the habitat is in place, don't okay. forget to put down a donation box picky. near to your viewing areas. We need every dollar we can get. <laughs> Especially as these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. <laughs> oh, hi, Cyber. I didn't notice you over there. Hello. I totally missed what she said. <laughs> a donation box. Yeah, that's fine. Let's put it over here. So it is, I think. Aha. Donation box. Oh, what? I can't put it on the sidewalk. What? Oh, it has to be. Why does it have to be over here? That's dumb. That's frustrating. But my viewing area is over there. Okay, fine. I'll put it over here. Rude. Okay, that's the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. Yay! Tigers! Okay, this is frustrating. Go away. Um, 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 yay! Ravna, nice. Adopt. Adopt. Yay! Whilst our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. Okay. Um. This time, instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. <laughs> Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go for a swim, but they can also mm -hmm. use it to drink from. All you have to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice, refreshing drink. 
There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. Rough water, calm water. Bellet. Yes, that'll do nicely. Of course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable toy and food enrichment items into their habitat? Oh, I want to put more water. More water. That's not enough. Not enough water. <laughs> um, toys. Rubbing pad. It's <laughs> cute. Yay. Okay, it's really starting to take shape. Now, the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can hide from the guests, or more likely the bad weather. <laughs> Although given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Poor Dabs. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Mm -hmm. Rightio, click on the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. That'll tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Okay, okay cool. then, open the terrain editing tool, select painting, and give them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. That's like super light. Right then, all animals need plants and trees from their own biome or continent. You know, deserts, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of thing. It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. To get a perfect fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. Although if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the Environment tab. Now, 
As you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like the wattle bushes. You can remove them if you want. You can find all of the plants you need in the nature section, and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you want to see. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. Grassland and temperate. Temperate. Hey. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's pretty. Something that is not trees. Grassland. Ha, ah, why? Didn't want grassland plants. Okay.
have grassland. Okay. Okay, it doesn't like the cork wood. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so now let's put more of this bamboo. Is it like an elm tree? Would it like an elm tree? Ah, it likes that. Let's put another one of those. I like that. It's pretty. What is this smaller elm tree? One of those. No, I don't like it. Just put another big one here. <clears throat> this corner. Aha! Yay! I got it! Mm -hmm. Took me a minute to figure it they out. They say that good fences <laughs> make good neighbors. Sweet. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbors <clears throat> is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Still, mm -hmm. those tigers look so happy that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> Oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. <laughs> right, let's head over to the Indian peafowls. I've been told that we need to improve their social welfare. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, unlocked another scenario. Sweet. That's exciting. <laughs> Eye of the tiger. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Let's go to the gold ones. Let's go. Stop throwing your balloons. I see you with your balloons there. Listen. I'm watching you. Sorry. Okay. I'll quit. <laughs> I keep seeing their balloons floating around. <laughs> okay. The highlighted area. I did. I got it. It's right there. Okay. Just find one of the people and, and, and select them to open an information panel. Then we can have a good gander at how they're doing. Although technically, mm -hmm. I suppose gandering would just be for geese. Mm -hmm. Expand their social welfare, and we can get a bit more detail. Uh -huh. Too few adults and juveniles. Uh, now, they've clearly got plenty of space and they're not stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Click on the social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. Oh no, me either. Oh, that's sad. Right. As you can see, the peafowlers need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Off okay. you pop to the animal market then. <laughs> you pop to the animal market. <laughs> okay. Hey, anything else? Yep, they're all females. Yay! Adopt you, adopt you, and adopt you. Why do you look so fun? Okay. Good work on those pea fowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Let's Aww. head over there and see what's wrong with her. Snow leopard? Aww. A bit grumpy. We can't have that. 
Okay, where's your habitat? Aha, there we are. Ooh, Just like she. people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. That's cool. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. Oh, yeah. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. Mm, it's not a yeah, cheap option, sure. but I think they but, be expensed, yeah. don't you? This Definitely. will give the snow leopards somewhere to go when they want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly for the snow leopards, it's, it's too hot, even with the terrible British weather. <laughs> you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's yeah. habitat. That's cool. As you can see, we already Ooh, have one yeah, cooler in there. Let's pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. Just okay. so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. You can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things, so do be sure to explore them and make good use of them. Yeah. It'll take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters. But now we've got the coolers in, we can address the leopard's terrain welfare. You see, what the leopards really want in here is snow and rock, so let's make that happen. to do.
Oh, less grass. Well, what? What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Short grass then. Sample. of that should give you a pretty Jeez. good understanding of how that to make animals <laughs> happy. So I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. And okay. that average welfare is a very important statistic. Okay. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. As you can see, yes. this list shows you the animals' overall welfare. <gasps> so if turtles. something's amiss, then you can quickly pop over to them turtles. using the locate button. <laughs> right. I'm off for a cuppa while you make sure all the animals are well looked after. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's go to these turtles. Can I go to it? What is this? Oh, well, how do I find this turtle? How do I go to it? Um, zippets. There we go. Species. Take that. Let's see. 
is under habitat. Yeah. Richmond. Uh, oh, there's a lot. Forge parks. Is that food as well? Gift box. Can I put a box in there? No. Okay. Let's see. Scratching um. post. I like the super colorful ball. is not happy. Anybody else? Haha, super injured. you don't like. Okay, cool. Back to you. Yes. Grassland. Okay. Habitat or nature. Yeah. Grassland.
cream. More grass short. More grass long. Less soil. Okay, so short and long grass. Let's do terrain. Short grass. enough short grass. Let's do long grass now. Out here. So let's put a little bit of rock in there. No. We'll do some more long grass. Yay. Now what else? Ooh. Enrichment. Food enrichment. You've passed the first part of your training with flying <laughs> nice. colors. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? Alrighty, now we'll turn to the menu. Um, I don't have to save this one. I don't want to save it. That's okay. Yay! Alrighty. Load back to the menu. Alright. So, I'm gonna probably end this right now. That was a lot of fun. I'm super excited to play this game some more. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!